Hi, I'm Rick Crane of Angler's Artistry, and today we're going to paint a reproduction brown trout. Now, I'm going to put this on fairly light. I don't want to incorporate so much color on here that you, that you, you know, carpet bomb the fish with some color. The reason why we don't have to put so much on here is that if, if you put too much on, and you have to steel wool what you, what you put on there off, if there's too much on there, it cut right into your surface underneath. But as as our spotting continues um, toward toward the center of the fish, this this cluster area will start migrating up more toward the lateral line of the fish. Just by the nature of what you do, sometimes you have more powder on there, sometimes you have less. Sometimes the variation of color that sits around it gives you a different look than the, the halo that you have right next to it. Make it your fish. Make it work for you. continue with this process as I move forward and I'll take a, another halo spot pattern here and I'll come around it. Now I'm going to transition into the, the brighter area here as I get lower to the fish. Again just be selective. It doesn't have to go everywhere and I'm just using a really small five odd scrubber brush here. use any one of your favorite brushes as long as it will get down to doing some small detail work. We're going to put our final coat of gloss on. We're going to let this sit and we're going to let it dry with the warm surface. It is purging the air out. Um, we've done all the detail work that we can that we can think about doing here and I think what we end up with a pretty nice looking brown trout. On behalf of all of us here at Angler's Artistry, again, it's been my pleasure to have you here in our studios in Hinsdale, New Hampshire. 